Hello everyone and welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we will learn to visualize the response using the Postboard. So let's begin. Postman's Postboard feature allows you to visualize the API responses effectively, making it easier to interpret the complex data. Now this tutorial will guide you through the process of setting up and using the Postboard to visualize the API responses step by step. Now before we start, what is Postboard? So Postboard is an AI assistant integrated within the Postman to help you to analyze the responses. But it is not limited to that. There are so many other options you can do with this one. Now for this particular tutorial, what I'll do is that let me go to the browser over here and I will be using some simple API to demonstrate you. Here, uh, this is request.in. Just scroll down here. And I will go with this get API because it will contain some data which we can visualize here. And for this one, let me click on this one. And this is the complete data. So let me copy this one from here. And let me go back to the postman over here. And just create new, provide the URL over here. And just click on send because this is simple. I get API. There is no authorization required for this one. Simply, what I do is that I click on the send button, and you see that we get a response over here. Now, this is a very small response, but in cases there there might be some complex response, and you need you might need to visualize this to understand what is happening in the response, right? So, in that case, you need to visualize. So, in my previous tutorial. I wrote some script to visualize the response. But now using the post board, you can easily visualize the response within few clicks. In order to use this feature, simply go here. You see this, this is a post board. Now you can either click on this one or simply you can press control Alt P. You can either do in way, just click on this one. And here you see that this post board can add test to this particular request. It can test for the responses, visualize response. So as I said earlier, it can do the multiple things, right? Right now, we are just focusing on visualizing the response. Just click on this one. And here you see that it can visualize as a table, as a line chart, as a bar graph. So based on the response type, you can decide either you want a table, line chart or bar graph. And here, if I see this, this particular records of some employees or some person. So I want to see this particular in a table form. So simply what I'll do is that I will click as a table over here. And it what it will do is that it will create a script to convert this into a visual table, right? So, and you see that it has actually written a script for this one, right? And here you see this as a table. Now this is more under understandable. You can easily debug or interpret the response you are getting. And now this is just like a chat board. So you can directly chat this one. For example, now I don't like the header background color. So what I will do is that I will say change header background color to dark red and text font color should be white okay and let me correct the spelling over here and press enter now it will automatically update this script and once it will done we will execute this request again and see what happens so simply click on send here you see that it actually changed the header but also it changed the fields let me talk to this bot again and say change the font color in rows to black okay and let's see so again i'm just talking to the postman so that i can have a visual appealing response right and simply send now we get some data right but again it's not completely i'm trying to achieve this as white but it's not giving me this as a white but you can interact with this particular board 
and have the data right and if you want to visualize this as let me go here if you want as a bar so let's see again the bar data is very useful when you have a data from different years you want to see that how your progress is going based on the data but here you can also go with this one this is totally based on you know uh, the, the ids here okay 8 7 8 10 11 so if i go here review so here you can also see that and here this is a json response so you see that so 7 8 9 10 11 12 so based on that it actually converted into this visual right but the problem here is that this visualization doesn't make any sense for me because it doesn't give me information so again based on the response data you need to visualize accordingly so for me as a table makes much more sense and it gives me more information and that's how you can do it in the latest version of postman and again you see that it goes with the, the the you know the basic table and you can change the data and color over here in this one and again this feature is available only on the latest version of postman you need to ensure that you're using the latest version and right now if i go to the browser over here and the list latest version here is basically if i go here and go to the download sections and go to the release notes so into the release notes is version 11.29.3 and here basically you will see that the postman ai agent builder offers a compressive source so you need this latest version 11.29.3 to make it work right okay so 11.27 dot three is the minimum because this was introduced over here if you see that visually like the api responses but i still recommend because there are some bug fixes some improvements going on always use the latest version in order to use this particular ai feature thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial